HBO's Euphoria is a coming-of-age teen drama that focuses on the lives of numerous high school students and follows their struggles with their personal identities and lives. The show delves into topics about love, relationships, drug abuse, assault, and does not shy away from heavier topics. Now, it's no secret that Euphoria is very popular among teenagers and young adults. You've probably seen it everywhere on social media. I myself enjoy the show very much. I love the cinematography and the dark shift in tone the show has taken. I love the cast of Euphoria, and the show probably has the most accurate teen dialogue I've seen in a while. To me, these things separate Euphoria from other high school teen dramas. It just feels different. There is still the aspect of melodrama in the show, and sometimes it can be a tad bit unrealistic, but the show still holds up. I think the reason why Euphoria has fascinated us so much is because of its depiction of certain issues, which can be so brutal and raw at times. Now, I could go into depth about why Euphoria is a good show. There are many reasons why it deserves praise, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk, or really address, the fan base. I'm beginning to wonder if certain viewers of the show can only see things as black and white. I'm noticing this with a particular character, Cassie. Now, before I begin this, I just want to put out a disclaimer. I do not like Cassie at all. Not anymore, at least. I used to like her, but her recent choices have made me dislike her immensely, and though I will be analysing her for this video, I do not condone any of the things she's done, nor do I intend to downplay her actions. I think there are valid reasons not to like Cassie. I'm just here to explain why she is the way she is. Now that that's out of the way, back to the video. Cassie Howard, for those who haven't watched the show, is one of the main characters in the first and second season of Euphoria, but I'll focus more on her character in the second season. Cassie is known for being a nice, ditzy, pretty, and popular girl at her school. Despite this, she hasn't had a good run with her romantic relationships. This is mostly due to people only wanting her for her sexual appeal and not being able to see her as anything but her looks. Cassie also deals with other problems like her absent father and her own insecurities and self-worth. And in season 2, we see her insecurities reach their peak. For those who have watched the show, I think it would be fitting to describe her as public enemy number 2, rivaling even Nate Jacobs. As I said before, up until recently I actually liked Cassie. I found her character ironically funny, and her friendship with Maddie was one of the highlights of the show. They bounced off each other with their banter and their personalities, and they honestly made the show really funny. But my fondness for Cassie was short-lived, especially after the Nate Jacobs incident. Cassie's choice to begin a relationship with her friend's toxic ex-boyfriend behind her back was very grimy. She not only went behind her friend's back, but ignored the disapproval of her family and friends who were only trying to protect her, and lashed out at anyone who opposed her and Nate's relationship. Throughout the entire relationship, Cassie remains adamant that she did nothing wrong. And don't get me started on her throwing Rue under the bus and comparing her struggles to Rue's. I didn't say you're not a good girl. Rue's had a very hard life. Not harder than my life or Lexi's life. It's different. Right. Her dad died and ours just stopped calling. I don't know which is worse. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate <laughs> I can see why people dislike or even hate Cassie. Her choices, logic, and behaviors are beyond deplorable and in no way defendable. But as much as I dislike her, I honestly can't help but feel sorry for Cassie. Honestly, I do. When you look past the selfishness and bitterness of Cassie's character, what you will uncover is really just an insecure and lonely girl. A girl whose self-worth is tied to the validation of others. I first realized this when I was scrolling through my Twitter. I saw this meme on my feed. I agreed with it, and I even liked it. But then I took a step back and thought to myself, What happy ending? Open the fucking door, Cassie. Open the door and tell me it was worth it. You owe me that. That shit is so fucking homophobic. Babe, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Like, She's your fucking sister. No, you I, want I, pack I, the shit the no, fuck out of my house. Please. I'm fucking done. You guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier. Cassie isn't getting her happy ending because there is no happy ending with Nate Jacobs. When I saw this post, I couldn't help but think, is this the happy ending in question? Is this what Cassie has worked so hard for? To abandon her friends, the only people who have ever cared about her, for a guy who doesn't even remotely care about her? She says she's never been happier, but is she? I don't think so. Especially not after episode 7 of season 2, when we all knew what would happen, finally happened. Cassie didn't win Nate, she didn't beat Maddie, she didn't even last in her relationship with Nate. Cassie is the victim, she just doesn't know it. I think a lot of us have forgotten that you can be a villain and be a victim. Cassie is a victim of many things. She's a victim of her own insecurity, a victim of bad circumstances like her childhood, and a victim of Nate's manipulation. And by no means do I intend to sweep Cassie's behaviour under the rug. I have to state this multiple times because I know many people will think I'm using these bad things to justify her actions. 
I'm merely pointing out why she may act the way she does, and what external and internal problems contribute to her behaviour. I feel sympathetic towards Cassie. It's easy to forget she's just a teenage girl. She's only a year older than me. She's young and she's learning as she grows. When you're young, you're headstrong and rebellious. I can relate to the feeling of believing that you're right and that the whole world is against you, only to realise that those around you who don't approve of what you're doing aren't trying to hurt you, but in fact just trying to protect you. I also want to point out that Cassie is a very insecure girl. She seeks validation heavily and is still hurting from her father's absence. And when you pair this with her track record of her relationships, it's no wonder she was able to succumb to Nate's affections. In her head, Nate is the only love she can receive. She's so desperate to cling on to him because she honestly believes he's the only love she'll ever have. This makes episode 7 even sadder, when Nate finally ends things with Cassie. I rejoiced at the scene because reality finally hit Cassie in the face. But it was a little hurtful to watch. It hurt when you realise all the lengths that Cassie had gone through just to be with Nate. Changing herself, lying to her friends, lying to herself, and sneaking around. All of it was for nothing. Nate walks away, and Cassie is left with nothing. But Cassie made her choice, and she walked right into this. Maddie, who was not known for turning the other cheek, even tried to reach out to her, despite knowing what she did. Maddie broke down, crying against the door as she begged Cassie to open it. It was a moment of vulnerability, because she too knows what it's like to be brainwashed by Nate. This was the perfect chance for Cassie, the perfect chance to make amends before things became worse. And what did she do? She did nothing. She let Maddie walk away. She chose Nate over Maddie. I feel sorry for Cassie, I honestly do. I wish you could wake up and see she deserves much better than Nate. I wish you could realise losing her friendship over a boy is not worth it. But as much as we analyse the situation and scream at Cassie to get some sense, only she can help herself now. And until she seeks help or looks inward to change, then I'm afraid she's going to continue being a victim of her own self-destructive behaviours.